Hi everyone, so some of you guys have been asking me for an installation video of my Arch Linux Hyperland and so yeah, I'm making this video and, and this video is also going to contain about the most frequently asked question about the Hyperland Rise, for example like adding wallpaper, changing the bar from sidebar to top bar and yeah, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that we want to do is disable the auto-generated config. Now you can see the screen here to open the terminal and the new freshly installed Hyperland. You can use super.q, then you can navigate using cd to .config hyper. You can use your favorite text editor to edit the hyperland.con file. I'm going to use vim here and open. And then I will use dd to delete the auto-generated line like that. And then I will use column wqa or wq to exit the vim. And that's it. Now the next thing that you want to do is to install git. You have to go to your home directory using cd, then use the command sudo pacman s git to install git and it will prompt you for your password. You can just insert your password, then insert y to confirm the installation and just wait for the process to be done. And that's it. So the next thing that you want to do is to clone the Xenity's repo. To do that, you can just type the, the command git clone https github.com slash hayaoi slash zenities and you'll just have to wait for the process to be done and yep the cloning is complete and the next thing that we want to do is install the zenities to do that you can navigate to the zenities directory by using cd zenities in the Zenity directory, you can just use the command sh install.sh to run the install script. So in the script, you will be prompt for your password several times. So I encourage you to not leave the installation process and just wait for the installation process to be done. So other than the password prompting, there's one more thing that you want to uh, manually intervene. It is the the uh, EU installation, it's the Rust installation. So yeah, let's get into that later. As you can see on the screen, let's just wait. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Here, you just want to press Y to continue, and then you can enter again, or just insert one to continue the Rust installation using Rust up. And after that, you will be prompted for the password for several times and the system will reboot. The next thing that you want to do is fix the icon size on the sidebar. This error will occur if your screen size is larger than 720p. And to fix this, you can open your terminal. You can navigate to config slash eu slash scss. Then you can edit the sidebar.scss. In the sidebar.scss, you want to find the dot fallbar dash third and you want to change the through margin from 4 pixels to 8 pixels then you just have to save the config again and now the sidebar icon should look fine and the next thing that we want to talk about is changing the sidebar to top bar to do that you have to change the config in the config slash hyper and the 
hyperland.config file you want to change the exact the eu open menu from sidebar to just using bar instead and other than that you want to change the animation in the bottom of the file on the animation workspaces you want to change from slide vert to only slide so delete the vert and you can just save it okay, that's the first file that we will work on the next file that you want to work on is the script located in config slash eu slash scripts and the script is called update color sh and you want to also remove the site from the sidebar so now you open many bar instead of open many sidebars nice that's the second file and the last file is located in the scripts directory in the home directory and the file name is launch.sh you want to also delete the site from the bar like that just save your file and you're gonna be done and to make sure that this works you want to use super shift w to open the wallpaper switcher and switch to a new wallpaper and now as you can see it's now located on top and when you navigate to another workspace it is horizontal instead of vertical and the last thing that we will talk about is adding wallpapers to the wallpaper switcher you can open your terminal and here i assume you have uh, an image file that you want to use as a wallpaper you want to rename that in yazi you can use r to rename and then enter to just save it then you want to move the image to the wallpapers directory located in your home directory after you move the image to the wallpaper directory now you want to open the scripts directory and run the normalize wallpaper script using sh normalize wallpaper dot sh and the process will be complete now you can open the wallpaper switcher and find your added wallpaper yep as you can see it there and it loads when the bar doesn't load you can use super r to launch the bar manually nice other than that if you want to open the widgets you can use super h and if you want to open the power menu you can use super p to open the power menu and that's it thank you so much for watching this video i hope this installation video would help you guys actually install my rice see you on the next video bye bye